Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to knit from, from toe up, starting the Turkish cast on technique. I did do uh, several tutorials uh, and uh, I do have a playlist, so you are welcome, welcome to go and check it. I do have uh, several uh, tutorials on my uh, channel. But I wanted to try something different and you can play around with it. Um, I'm knitting socks for my son. I haven't blocked this yet. I just put it on the blocker for you guys to see because I am working on the second one. And this is how it looks like. Okay, this one I cast on 20. That one I cast on 10. Just to show you. So it depends on the yarn. That yarn that I'm working on at the moment is really thin. It's like a number one or even a zero because I'm using small needles. And it takes forever to knit them up. But this one was uh, a four weight. So I only cast on, no, not 10. I'm sorry. Two, four, six, eight, uh, 12, 12, yeah close to 10 and I did increases it again it depends on your yarn that you're going to be working on so uh, I don't have a written pattern please don't ask me a written pattern I do not do written patterns I only do tutorials like I jump onto my screen here I pop and I say hello I have a tutorial uh, I'm rec recording myself for my future uh, that's how I started way back in 2009. So uh, people ask me for patterns. I don't have a pattern. And please do not compare me with other hosts, other YouTubers. They might write a pattern. They might have a team. I don't. I'm a one person. So uh, yeah, I've been getting lots of comments. Send me the pattern. Write me the pattern. Can you write the pattern? Like. I am explaining as I'm going, so please write it down the way you understand so you don't have to ask for a pattern. So uh, what I'm going to do is, for today's tutorial, I'm going to use a thicker yarn so you guys can see it better. I'm just going to show you how to cast on and how to do your increases depending on your foot. Everyone has a different foot. Some people have foots like this that goes. Some people have three toes that are equal. So you need to work with your foot or the, the person uh, that you're working on. So my son uh, doesn't have a foot like this. His is usually straight with the small two toes. And then it goes up like this, but not like, like, like a scope like this. So that's what I was planning on so he can wear it comfortable. And that's what I usually do. But um, if I'm putting this on my Etsy shop, I just do my regular bind, bind, bind on and uh, cast on and I continue doing it. You can do toe down, uh, cuff down, but I would prefer uh, toe up. This way I can control my yarn. And I can make the length that I need. Usually they come in a hundred gram, right? These sock yarns. So, uh, but being a big foot, <laughs> like my son is a 12. So I need to, you know, measure it and uh, go from there. Even, yeah. So I just wanted to explain that. And I went up about nine inches from the heel. And another story, I will show you how to knit heels as well. On um, this one, I did this kind, but I don't like the eyelet. It's, uh, can you see, it's huge. Even I try to make it as tight as I can. And here's another one that I worked on. I don't know what these are, names are. Just to point out, you just knit one and then you skip the next stitch and it gives you this bumpy look, this double layer look. So that's nice for the heels. Okay, so grab the yarn that you have. You don't have to go and buy sock yarn. These are very expensive. I paid 27 for this. 2016, this was one of my whips. I, I said I need to finish my whips. And this yarn I bought way back in 2009 for $32. 2009. Nowadays, yarns are $32. So I think I paid a lot of money for that for a... 75 i don't know if there's cashmere in it i can't i lost the label for the so uh 
yeah just use the yarns that you have for this tutorial I am going to start one for myself I have this Caron cotton cake I believe it's half half cotton I love cotton 60% cotton and 40% acrylic I really really like this yarn and then the recommending is a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle uh, I'm gonna go down maybe for a four I'm trying to find my 3.5 uh, it's here somewhere so I'm gonna go with a smaller because we're knitting socks right we don't want the sock to be bulky we need it nice and snuggly so uh, I'm going to if I can find my three and a half uh, I'm going to show you how to cast on and we'll go from there okay so I found the three I want to start with the three and then we'll go from there okay, I'm just gonna move this because the camera's trying to focus on that okay so the yarn is uh, it says it's a four but I would say it's a heavy three so it's not that thick so uh, first I am going to make a knot this is a Turkish cast on I remember when uh, when I was living in Turkey um I would have elderly people like I don't know there were over 50 they would come and knit socks so, you know they would come and visit and then I would see them like they would spin on a spindle I would just you know admire what they would do so I made a knot and I put it on the bottom and uh what you do is you turn your work okay and this is the long tail well of course I tied it right it's right there and this is how you hold it okay so what I'm going to do is uh, my next uh, move is I am going to uh, go over the needles so easy like it's mindless you can do it even a kid can do it like kids used to knit socks I would see them and uh, you know you just admire them when you don't know how to knit when I was a kid like I was nine years old and uh, so going on further so this is what we're going to do for now I'm just gonna do ten so one from the bottom go up one I don't count this one two three four five six seven eight nine and then ten okay ten is enough ten is enough because uh, this is a thicker yarn well it's like the four let's do twelve yeah it's like that um, the one that I showed you the thicker yarn so I'm going to do one two so I am going with the yarn so I have total of 12 stitches so I'm gonna tuck this right here I'm gonna hold it and on the bottom not the top on the bottom I'm just gonna pull it just like this and then the needle I believe it's a 32 uh, number three millimeter knitting needle circular knitting needle so I am going to start knitting okay and then what I do is I pull from here right here like a stitch you see that just regular knit stitch and we're going to do this total of well I'll show you first so this is one okay this is one and the neat the circular needle is a number three millimeter so uh, the recommending is a 4.5 so I did go down and I want it nice and tight because this is a sock we don't want it loose okay and then I'm gonna knit that last stitch okay so I'm gonna drop this one and then what I'm going to do is I am going to turn turn like this okay put this on the back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this okay we don't need this anymore we don't need this so I'm just gonna drop that one okay. and then I'm gonna pull this but I need to tuck this back okay and then you can put a marker here indicating this is the um, this is the first row okay, but I want to do it later on cuz uh, uh, yeah so 
a little bit tight. Yeah, the first row is a little bit tight. Okay, so you can pull this, and now we're going to knit the top, which we moved it up. You can rewind it, and then you can see what I just did. Okay, so try to make as tight as you can. So I am knitting, actually this is the sec, the bottom, the bottom I'm knitting. So this is the first row and try to knit as tight as you can. I would highly recommend if you are a loose knitter, go down. I would say go down to a two or even a two and a half. Yeah, because uh, you need to knit socks tight. That's the th magic hidden ingredients, knit tight. Okay, so I finished the first row. So one more row we're going to knit. Okay, so I finished it. I'm going to turn it upside down just like this. Okay, and then pull this. And then pull this. Okay. Now you can put a marker. But I want to knit this row as well. So four rows. Uh, I'm sorry. So when you knit, it's this is the second row. Two times is enough. Two. Two rows is enough. Okay. So try to knit as tight as you can. The first stitch. Just like this. This one try to. So I'm going to grab a marker and I'm going to put it there, indicating this is the top, the, uh, the first row that we started. So you can see your V's, right? So I'm just going to put a marker indicating, and then I will move it the more I knit. Okay. So 12 stitches. Yeah, we dropped that to knot that we did. It's just to hold the stitch. That's all we did. Okay, try to pull this. And then again, turn your work down. This is how we knit. The first two rows are, is a little bit tricky because you, you think, what am I doing? But it's so easy. Okay, so pull this again and let this in. So this is the second row. After finishing this row, we're going to start doing our increases. Okay. You can make bags using this method. It's so easy. I'm thinking even making a backpack, knitting a backpack. But I just want my arm to heal. And then this is what we're doing. You can make anything using this technique. Okay, so we finished. We finished the second row. I turned my work, so we're gonna keep on doing this. Okay, so we're gonna start doing our increases. I don't do yarn over, because I don't like holes on my socks, right? Knitting. So pull this. Okay, we're going to see, you can see, see the back? Just lovely. And then it's nice and tight. Okay, so I'm going to start doing my increase. So I'm going to knit. This is how I do my increase, but I do not pull my stitch. I go back and I make one stitch. Okay, so I increased one. And I knit all the way to the end and we make another increase. Like I said, you can use any method you want. But I use this method. I like the pearl effect when when you're done with it so here when I come here I knit but I don't pull and then I come to the back and I make an increase here we go so easy and simple and I knit this last stitch so again I turn my work I pull the top and I pull this part and I repeat it Okay, it's lovely cotton yarn, and cotton feels so good on your feet. 
I would highly recommend. You need that little bit of acrylic in it so you can wear it longer. So I don't pull it. I come back and then I make a stitch. Okay? You can you make your stitch any any the way that you know, any technique. But this is how I make mine. Okay, so I come to the end. And I may knit, but I don't pull. And I come from the back and then I make a stitch. Ta-da! We're done. So for this next row, we're just going to do knit. So one row we're going to do our increase. And then the next row we're going to just knit plain. So we're going to knit plain. And then you will know because you will see that we made an increase. Okay. So pull this and try to make it as tight as you can. That first stitch is very important because we don't want any gaps on our sock. So pull this tight and then just knit. This is all to it. So we knit until the length that you need. Just put it on, put it on your toe. Mm, yeah, usually um, 30, 30 and plus stitches would work. But if you have a tiny feet, if you're knitting for a child, uh, you can go less than 30. So I already had 12, so I made two more stitches. We can go back and count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. We have thirteen stitches. Hmm. Should have a fourteen. What's going on? Did we do eleven? Yeah, that's another thing. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Oh well. Thirteen. So I am going to continue knitting until I have the length that I need. So I will knit, just knit this row, and then the next, when I finish, yeah, I'm going to move this because uh, that, that looks like it's on the other side, right? Yeah, the more you knit, the more uh, move your marker up. Okay, so this is the knit stitch is the knit row is finished. So I'm gonna move this marker a little bit higher. Right here. Okay. So this row is going to be an increase row. And then you will see that your sock is uh, turning. See? See? This one goes, you put this back in here, and then you pull the other one. Yeah, I like knitting with the circular needles. I hate the DPNs. I'm sorry uh, if you're used to it. Yeah, that's how I learned on the DPNs, because these circular wasn't these this popular then. You couldn't find them. They were really hard to find. So this is the increase row. Knit one stitch. Oh, forgot. Make my increase. Okay. And then continue knitting to the end. Okay, as you notice, we do our increase right at the beginning on this, but here when we come to the end, we do it the stitch before because the last stitch, there's nowhere. It's, it's not easy to make an increase. So I make my increase right here, just before the last stitch, and then I continue knitting. And I turn my work upside down again, and I pull this. Oh, I, this turquoise is beautiful. Yeah, I'm just using the yarn in my stash. I'm not buying yarn. I would highly recommend. I'm sure you guys have beautiful yarn in your stash. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Then make one, and then knit all the way to the end. It gives that nice, uh, yeah, see how tight it is? That's what we want. We want our socks to be tight and snuggly when we put them on. Nice and cozy. And then make one. 
Okay, we're done. The, now we're going to do the knit row. Pull this. And then pull this. Just regular knit stitch. See, you will know when it's a knit stitch or when it's increased because uh, you go back and you look at what you did. So you know that this is a knit stitch. Okay, so uh, this is all to it. You just do one knit row, one knit, uh, one increase row, and then you continue until the length that you need. And then you just finish. Okay, I'm just looking at this, see? I can uh, measure the sock. You can measure the sock that you have. See, it's not enough yet. See how tight it is? It's just fantastic. Like this yarn is really thin. But when you look at this, it's like, oh my goodness. I only knit a couple of rows and it's almost, you know, the measurements are equal. So I would highly recommend you to measure, measure, measure. And then go from there or else it would be huge and you can't felt this because this is cotton acrylic but when it's a wool that one is but that one's a super wash so you can't even I don't know you can't even uh, felt that one okay so this is a knit stitch this is the bottom so this would be the top of the toe and this would be the bottom of the sock so this is how you can f figure out so when you see the marker you start a new row and then you know that it's the bottom. And then um, when you come to the heel, you know that you're going to do the heel on the bottom here. So I will do a couple of tutorials. And then um, I already have a couple, couple of tutorials, but I'm going to do them separately this time. Because uh, I don't want my videos to be too long and bad quality. So stay tuned for the heels. Uh, I will come back because I am trying other uh, ways. Like I said, I don't know these names. I knit them. I just know it's a heel and it's a toe. <laughs> okay, so you continue. This is all to it. You continue and just measure one of your socks. So you can do that too, but measure the knit sock. See? And then what you do is, I will show it to you. Let's say you did 30. For that one, I think 30 even would be too big. I don't know. But this one is a total of 30, and it fits my feet perfect. But my son has longer feet, so that's why I made up to the heel. I knitted the, uh, I knitted, uh, I knitted uh, long, like 10, 11 inches to the to the heel. And then see when you make it tight, it's there's no holes, nothing. Can you see nothing? Yeah. Then you just knit. When you're done doing your increases, you just knit, 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 knit. So I hope this uh, video is uh, helpful for you guys to start toe up. Like I said, I would highly recommend. This is the easiest way and nice and clean. Yeah, see how I pulled it tight? Yeah, definitely pull it tight. It did get a little bit longer. And I uh, just wanted to uh, share you this tutorial. And you guys take care. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to hit that notification.